Yeah, bitch. This is how we do it. What is it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and cats, caps and rappers, superheroes, supervillains, xenomorphs, and fucking exo soldiers of the internet? Uh, this is definitely game in progress. And I'm uh, not entirely sure what I want to talk about today yet. Uh, just recently watched uh, Age of Ultron my, uh, this last week. Um, so that was really good. Um, if you guys haven't seen Age of Ultron, uh, I would definitely recommend watching that. Uh, even though Jess, Jess Whedon is a giant piece of shit. Um, because of some comments he made about Jurassic World. Uh, I'm not gonna get too far into that, but yeah, he's a piece of shit, and he can go fuck himself. But the movie's good, at least, so there's that. Um, and if you go see, if you do go see Age of Ultron, I would definitely recommend watching it in uh, 3D. Uh, not IMAX, but real 3D. Uh, it was, it's what I watched it in, it was very enjoyable. Uh, definitely worth the extra money uh, if you can afford it. Uh, I know not everybody out there maybe can afford to watch it in real, th in real 3D, um, but I had the opportunity to, and I did, and it was very enjoyable. A um, couple things you guys will probably see if you go watch um, the H. Ultron movie is uh, you'll see trailers for Jurassic World, and uh, you'll also see trailers for Pixel, or Pixels, I believe it is. And um, what was the other movie that had trailers for? Not Jurassic World. Uh, oh. They had the new Star Wars trailer as well. Um, that was that was something that was really nice to watch in uh, real 3D. And all the trailers, when you go see a movie in real 3D, all the trailers um, for the movies and stuff are going to be in 3D as well. Uh, so that's nice. Um, so I would definitely go see it in 3D if you're going to see Age of Ultron. That's definitely the way to see it. Uh, it's going to cost a little bit more, um, and some of that money will actually go into Jazz Whedon's pockets to be sure, uh, but it also goes into the pockets of the actors, and all the actors did a good job, despite Jazz Whedon uh, being involved in the movie. Uh, and the good thing is, uh, the next movie he actually won't be involved in, so that's a plus. Uh, but anyway, um, those are just a couple little things I want to talk about. Um, the Jurassic World trailer was actually really, really amazing in uh, in real 3D. It was just like fucking mind blowing because they had like the uh, pterodactyls like flying in front of your face and shit, and they had um, what was it uh, the Velociraptors and stuff were like running into you and stuff like that. It was just really, it was all really awesome. And the Age of Ultron was good. The story was good. Um, very action oriented. I'm not going to talk too much about the story, obviously, because I don't want to get into spoilers. Um, but it was definitely, it was definitely a good movie. It's worth watching, um, even if you don't like the director of it. I'd say um, it's kind of hard because I mean, you get to the point where yeah, there's a lot of about this. I don't like it, but I don't want to support the director. So do I see the movie? Uh, do I not see the movie? Whatever stuff like that and I, I can understand how that's a difficult choice for some people. I went inside because I really wanted to see it and uh, I don't regret it much. Um, so anyway, uh, we're actually, uh, I was going to do a 200 subscriber special uh, but we're already almost at 300 um, so that's pretty much what this is. I'm just going to ramble on here for a little bit and uh, if that's okay with you guys. Um, and then I might also, uh, if you guys want me to do a live stream, I was actually thinking about doing one of those as well. Uh, just a little kind of Q&A thing uh, where I answer questions, um, either about uh, my life or Gamergate or whatever you guys want to ask me. Um, but I want to see what kind of uh, what kind of demand there is for something like that. Um, as you guys may know, I, I'm a, a fairly small channel, um, and I think because of that, I have the uh, little bit, a little bit of a rarer opportunity than larger channels to kind of uh, be more directly involved with community because it's small. 
Uh, so I get to read like every comment anybody makes, if anybody makes comments at all, and stuff like that. Um, so there's that. Um, and then uh, also it is at the time of recording this, and the uh, time this will probably queue up. I'm not quite sure when this will go up yet. Uh, this will go up when we hit 300 exactly. I'm just recording it a little bit early. Uh, we're at like 290 right now or something, but I want to I want to get it out of the way in case I can't record later Because my PlayStation 4 has been acting a little odd lately. I Don't know if it's having issues with the fan or what um, But I'm been a, it's been making me a little bit nervous to be honest here um, I'd hate for it to have to go down especially since uh, Ogre is busy getting the rest of the way through school right now so um he's been focusing on test and stuff so he hasn't really had time to do as much upload wise um so hopefully uh hopefully the playstation won't go down or anything because i i'm doing a lot of the uh, uploading stuff in case you guys can't tell um man my guy looks like a beast and uh, I do have a logo on uh, the Advanced Warfare for gaming in progress now. Uh, let me go here. Player card? Yeah. So that's what it looks like on gaming in progress. So if you ever see that, that's me. So, <laughs> um, Not that I play Advanced Warfare a lot anymore. I played, I still have to beat the star. As soon as some games come out, it gets really hard for me to play them all. And then I kind of forget about games here and there. Um... But I do go back to them later on. Uh, but it's just I. So many games and so little time for me to play sometimes. So, like I'm recording this at like three o'clock in the morning. Holy shit. Um, but anyway, uh, so this is just kind of like a uh, up, an update video. Um, talking a little bit about uh, watching Age of Ultron. I definitely recommend seeing that. Um, one way or another, even if you don't want to uh, directly support Whedon, go see it with a friend or something. I, I don't know. Um, but it's definitely a really good movie, and I was really excited to see it in 3D. And it, it was definitely worth paying the extra price to see it in 3D because it was just so visually amazing, and the trailers looked good. I'm probably going to end up going seeing, seeing all the other movies that I just listed. Um, the Star Wars movie, uh, Pixels, and uh, Jurassic World, I'll probably end up seeing all three of those in 3D, just because they look so good in 3D. Because um, I just got fucked up right there. Um, I'm going to be doing a tutorial video later this week. Um, for those for those of you who are PS4 YouTubers, I want to uh, maybe show you guys something you may not know about. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about that right now. Uh, I'll leave that for later. Um, but it might help you fellow YouTubers out who are on the PS4 side of things. Um, I know sometimes uh, stuff can be a little bit limiting on the console end. Um, I know that quite a quite a quite well actually. So. Um, she's a fucked up pretty badly here. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about is um, well, I'd like to know um, if you guys, if you guys are watching this, what you would like to me to talk about in the Q and A if I do do one. Um, I've had a pretty interesting life I'd say so far so I mean I can talk about personal stuff I can talk about game brigade stuff I can talk about what, whatever you guys want really um one thing I might talk about is uh, a couple years ago the fact that I got hit by a car uh, might be a point of interest that you guys might want to know the story of uh I don't know uh, just just their food for thought um I do want to say that I am holy fuck um, can I, yeah, okay, um, I want to say that, uh, for everybody subscribed and all the new people that are subscribing, I want to thank you guys, uh, I cannot thank you guys enough, really, um, because you're helping support this channel, you're helping this channel grow bit by bit, and I'm just so proud and I'm so happy that the people who are subscribed are subscribed, even if you're only subscribed here for a little bit of the time, means unsubscribe later that's fine i was just happy to have you guys as a subscriber at some point it's really honoring uh to me that i that the channel has really grown at all 
and especially as much as it has. I mean, it took a little bit to get past uh, the 100 mark, um, but I mean, before that, it seemed like we got to 100 really fast, um, and then we're almost already to 300 now, and it's just, it's humbling. Um, because, I mean, I come on here, and it's like I spout my somewhat bullshit opinions on stuff, and, you know, I, maybe they're not bullshit. I mean, you guys obviously value them if you keep coming back to watch. Um, but, I mean, I never expected it to uh, really grow. I mean, it was just something that I originally started to be like, well, why not? Um, because I, I, I wanted to get my own voice and my opinion out there, and I'm, I'm just glad people actually listen and value anything I have to say. It's, it's kind of fulfilling, you know? Um, and if I end up getting big enough to make this uh, something that I can do uh, as a full-time job or even a part-time career or whatever, that's, that's even cooler. Um, if not, that's fine too because it's just I've enjoyed doing this. It's given me a it's given me a sense of purpose, I guess, that I haven't really had before, and it makes me want to work harder on this kind of stuff. And it's hard it's hard sometimes for me to be able to uh, for me to have to take a step back and say I need to focus on what I'm doing in school more, um, but I do because that's important too, obviously. Um, it's 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 important like this is but in a different sense because uh, it's always good to keep your options open obviously. Um, but this has just given me such a sense of purpose that I didn't have in my life before I don't think um, well not that I don't think that I know I didn't have before because I just I don't know it's kind of hard to put into words you know um, but I, I, I thank you guys a lot, and I will always thank you guys for watching my stuff, whether it's one person watching, a hundred people watching, or a million people watching. I will thank you guys and do everything I can to give back to you guys when I can, um, because you guys are awesome. Uh, let's see, uh, <laughs> what else do I want to talk about here? Um... It's not, it's not too often, I mean, usually I get on here and I have like a more, I have like a very specific subject that I want to talk about. Um, I'm just kind of talking about a couple different things at once here, obviously. Oh, damn, that was interesting. What the hell? I don't get, uh, the thermal scope on this game is so weird, it's like, it's like this little sliver and then when you aim at it, it like opens up for some reason. That doesn't seem very practical to me for military use or anything. Okay. Um, let me just take this here. Um, but I, I always, I will always thank you guys and I will always uh, appreciate any feedback you give me. Um, she's not fucking blind as a bat right now. Um, holy fuck. Um, and I always want to, uh, if, if there's anything you guys ever want to see, like game-wise or whatever, Feel free to let me know. Um, I may not always be able to accommodate because I mean there are some games that I can't play yet because I don't have uh, permanent access to a PC. Um, I try to do PC recording whenever I have one available to me, um, but the PC side is more of Ogre's saying and again he's been a little busy lately. Uh, but we like to try and take requests and do them as much as we can obviously. Um, holy fuck this is so weird. Uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, let's see, I don't think there's a whole lot else I want to talk about, I just, I don't know, it's, like, it's so crazy everything that's been going on lately, um, like the fucking, I did a video on this recently too, the, the whole bomb threat thing about, on the, on the game regating DC thing, that was just fucking crazy, it's like, what the hell is wrong with people, that you have, that you're so scared of, your narrative crumbling to pieces that you have to fucking call and and make uh, you have to fucking make bomb threats against a group of people against a really gr uh, against a group of really awesome people <coughs> and it sucks that any of them had to go through that and that it ruined that it may have potentially put a hindrance on their time and I gl I'm glad that overall it didn't that people just made the most of it and still continued to have a good time but the fact that that happened at all is fucking bullshit it pisses me off to an extent. Um, 
Securing Charlie. But I Shit, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Securing Alpha. Okay, I got an automobile to it. Um but it's just it's just fucking crazy to me. Um and if we can if we can set it up, I definitely want to do a fucking uh, Gamergate meetup in Michigan um, or the Michigan Ohio area. I know that one's being planned at, uh, at Cedar. If I can't get the one in Michigan organized, I'll definitely be going to or I'll definitely try to make it to this to the Cedar Point one um, because I I was really bummed that I couldn't go to the Washington one. But obviously, uh, being being a high schooler and uh, not having a job kind of limits me from going there. Um, I mean, I could have opened, I could have opened up her Patreon and said I was harassed or something, I guess, but I, I, I didn't feel like doing that, you know, it's, it wasn't just my cup of tea, and it's never been my cup of tea, I mean, people, uh, people, I've, like, I've thought about doing a whole Patreon thing as, like, maybe a donation thing, but it's, like, I just don't really feel like I have enough, I mean, like, I'm grateful that you guys are so happy to do and stuff, but, I don't really think that I put out enough quality content. I mean, I work hard and stuff, but I mean, I don't think it's, I don't think it warrants, like, people, like, donating money to me yet. I mean, if you guys wanted me to open, wanted me to open one, that I would, if you guys wanted to donate to me or whatever, I'd be fine with that. But I don't, in my opinion, I don't think I'm there yet. But I will continue to work hard to where maybe I will feel I am there someday, if you guys feel like that too. Uh, let's see here. Um, but yeah, if I can, if I can't get this uh, Gamergate in Michigan slash Yomacon thing off the ground, um, probably I'll probably end up showing up to the uh, one in Cedar Point if I can. Uh, and uh, it'd be interesting to see how many people we can get to turn out to that one as well. I know the turnout for the. Hmm, I know the turnout for the one in. Uh, in Washington was pretty big. I mean, there were 300 people there. Mila was there. Uh, Based Mom was there. There was there was a lot of people there, and it was so cool. And I wish I could have been there, but yeah, limitations and stuff, you know. Um, but anyway, I don't think there's a whole lot more to talk about other than my PS4 won't shut up. Um, <laughs> maybe it's a wharf stash I have, and I, I have a fucking I got the it's a uh, if you guys have ever heard of Uber or whatever, I think it, I think it's Uber that I got the, I got a, like a card from them at like uh, the Woodward Dream Cruise. I usually go there like every year, um, and it had like a, it had like a sticker like, mu fluffy mustache on it. So I yanked it off the card and I put it Gee, on my PS4 much. because why not? <laughs> um, and I'm, uh, I'm obviously a fan of Markiplier, as you guys all probably know by now, but. Um, so it's like, oh, Wharf Stash, I'm putting this on my PlayStation, because reasons, you know. Um, uh, but anyway, I think that, oh, shit, that guy's invisible. I think that about does it for this little fucking random rant video. Uh, I've covered, I've covered quite a little bit here in a short amount of time, and probably wasted everybody's time, and you probably, like, that is all probably hate me for this now, so. Uh, be sure to unsubscribe from Gaming in Progress if you think he's a massive... Uh, fuck with or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just making this up as I go, and you know that's 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 okay because I mean, pretty much everything I do, I don't have like everything. Every video, it's unless it's like on a specific topic. For the most part, even then, I just make it up as I go. I don't like I don't lie. I don't script all any of my stuff really. I don't feel like I don't feel like that's as genuine. It's just me getting on here and talking to you guys and being like, hey, this is going on. So. Um, you guys should hear about this, and these are my thoughts on it, and stuff like that. I I feel like that's more genuine, and I feel like I want people to be more genuine with me, so I'm going to be more genuine with you guys, and in return, hopefully people will be more genuine with me. Maybe I'm just fucking bonkers or some shit. I mean, I have a cis white male, after all. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video I can't think of anything more I want to talk about right now 
Um, be sure to check out some of the stuff we're doing soon. Uh, we've got a Helldivers video on the way. If you guys don't know what Helldivers is, it's basically a top-down shooter that's very reminiscent of a of uh, Starship Troopers, and uh, it's a very great game. Uh, the community shrunk a little bit since its initial release, uh, but it's still really good, and I would definitely check it out. Uh, check it out the video when it comes out, and check out the game. Uh, it's a cross-platform game, uh, so when you buy it, you get it on all three systems. It's PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation Vita for the simple price of 20 bucks, and it's really worth it. Even if you don't play with your friends, or you play it by yourself, um, it makes for like a good, a good little shooter that you can play across all three of your platforms. Um, so you play it at home for a little bit, then you gotta go to work or whatever. So you grab the Vita and you play it on the Vita while you're at the on the go, and then you go over to your friend's house. Your friend's got PS3, so you download it over there and play it over there or whatever. But yeah, it's it's fun and it's obviously meant to be more played with friends, but it can be played solo. Um, though I wouldn't recommend doing suicide missions solo. Uh, different missions have different levels. And, uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, share it with your friends, your family, and, uh, I don't know, people you hate. If you don't like me and you don't like what I'm talking about, share it with people you hate. I don't know. <laughs> um, and be if you're new here, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. It helps us out. It helps us grow. And, uh, it'll help you guys... Get the latest and greatest content from gaming in progress. Um, maybe when we actually have really great content. <laughs> I don't know. I, I kid. I think some of the stuff we put out is really good. And some of the other stuff, I will admit, is like, eh, I don't know. But I mean, I'm, I'm never going to say, I'm never going to regret anything I post on this channel simply because I have, it's my channel and I have free reign to do whatever I want with it really. And I think I've done quite a bit of interesting stuff so far and I hope to do more interesting stuff in the future. Oh, you know, that's what I, that's, I just got a great idea for another thing I'm going to be doing a video on soon. Um, uh, but yeah, that, that does it for this video. Um, so anyway, this is Demo of Gaming in Progress and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Oh, oh, oh. Die! Die! Fuck. This is Demo of Gaming in Progress and today I received some disturbing news. It was seem a YouTuber by the name of Burello recently had his channel suspended due to several of his videos receiving numerous flags on them for uh, inappropriate thumbnails or misleading content for the reason that people claim to flag the videos for. Now, these, vid these flags all happened within a short amount of time and were on only a couple of his videos. Now, I've seen pretty much all the videos on his channel and I can say without a doubt that these flags were in fact false. Which basically means that the same thing that happened to Joe recently at the, ex at the laughter of Broke.